believe me, everyone in the studio, everyone in Bassett's Plaza just did go to pieces because we have a very unexpected and special guest with us, the Gnome. The lunacy continues. The lunacy does continue. I'm telling you, I wish you could see this. In fact, there'll be pictures up later today. Today being... Maybe even yesterday. Maybe, maybe, maybe <laughs> even yesterday. <laughs> of our friend, the Gnome. Well, tell me, what brings you by? Well, tickets. I had to get some tickets for the uh, oh, boat no. show. <laughs> but no, I wanted to see you guys because you're so infamous. And um, I decided that it's about time I come out of hiding. Well, it is, and it's, uh, it's your season. Well, it is, and uh, it's been, what, two years since uh, I started this, I believe. Well, it's been two years since we've seen you in daylight. I know you're out <laughs> oh, yes. stealing people's garden furniture and uh, playing pranks at night. Well, sometimes uh, if they look in their garden, they'll see some things there, yes. It's been done. I gotta tell you, you're one of a kind, pal. Thank goodness. <laughs> well, you know, it's uh, fun to be here, and it's fun to uh, do what you can do to make people happy. So what has the uh, Gnome been doing for the last two years in seclusion? Uh, well, I haven't been really in seclusion. I've been sliding out every once in a while. He's slithering. He's slithering. underground, so yes. to speak. Yes, I don't want people to see me that often. I just came out for this special occasion. Um, I've been playing a lot of golf. Uh, you can see me on the golf course. This is my new Gnome, uh, if you uh, were able to see, my new Gnome ball catcher. You just put this down Ouch! and you pick up the balls while you're on the chart, and it works real well. Speaking of uh, balls, there is a common myth out there, and maybe we, we can get it from the source's mouth here. The rumor has it is that Gnomes have three balls. Well, that's absolutely a fact. Um, we are very active people, and in order to... Well, there's one of them we'd like to see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, sometimes I have to replace one. Uh, I've got one here. If you were able to see this on TV, it's a Gano ball. It's pink as it should be. And... Um, Hasn't been hit yet. No. <laughs> but that's my replacement. <laughs> so... We're doing fine out there in the golf course too. Yes, uh, I have. Uh, I've seen you. Uh, well, a, a person that looks a lot like you, but not. You know, he's well groomed and shaved and no beard. But, you sure, uh, on a horse. I'm, sh I'm sure he could be related to you. Uh, and uh, yeah, well, um, I promised the guys over at uh, this place called Catawba Island Club I'd stop by the golf course and uh, uh, check them out and make sure they're doing things right. Maybe I'll talk to the pro, give them a few pointers. Well, I think you could, uh, particularly when it comes to the third ball. Yes, that's right. It's always the third one that counts. So uh, what, are your, uh, what are your plans for uh, the upcoming Halloween celebration? Oh, my word, I think word's out. We're getting another phone call. <laughs> well, I, I really haven't figured out uh, Halloween. I'm, I'm probably going to... Uh, pardon, yeah, me, pardon me, Gnome. Hello, you're on the air. Would you like to speak to the Gnome, our very special guest today? Uh, hello, sir. Hello, hello. Oh, it was another butt call. Butt call. From Chuck. I've warned him on this air not to do it anymore. <laughs> Perhaps you could visit his house sometime soon. I think that would be appropriate. And if he's got a garden hidden someplace, I will be there. Yeah, you make a visit. I'll make a visit. That'll make a deposit, or rather, yeah, make a deposit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's been done, too, actually. At night, nobody knows. Well, uh, what are your plans for uh, the upcoming uh, Halloween season? Well, actually, I was going to wait and hear what uh, the schedule is from you guys so that I can make sure I'm uh, appropriately uh, arriving at the right times and the right places. Well, that'll be, uh, that. I think that's on not our next show, but the show after. Um, but uh, we'll get it out, and we'll email you a copy of it. Well, I, I really appreciate that. I'm do looking I, forward to it. Do the Gnomes read English? I know you can speak English. but we, uh, Yes, we do. We read okay. it backwards, but we understand. I understand. I understand. Yes. Yes, so, so, those things happen, and uh, we, we have, you notice, uh, we have a lot of women in the Gnomes' life. Well, I was going to ask you, are there any uh, Gnomes? That's why there's three balls. Gnomettes uh, well, we've in got, your life right now? We've got lots of Gnomettes. Um, there's one special Gnomette. Uh, but, uh, you know, we have to make everybody happy. It's our job in life. Well, I'll say this. I've known you for about four years now, and you certainly bring a twinkle 
to my eye. Well, that's good. Let's keep it going. Now, what about you? Well, I, I'm just happy to present the schedule so you can make your uh, your rounds. Is Ohio State going to win this year? Absolutely. We're going to win a lot. You're going to win Saturday? That would be uh, my desire. Uh -huh. Does the Ganon handle desires? Uh, we do a lot of things. Um, if you have the right little uh, items, we can do much better. Oh, well, yeah. We know you can be bought, and uh, we have some, <laughs> we have some tickets for you. And unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap this up. But I can't tell you how happy we were you dropped by, and I know our listeners are going to be thrilled. Is there a song we can play for you before uh, before you leave? Yeah, Don't Go Breaking My Heart by Elton J. Key, Key, D, D, Key, G, G. Uh, we'll, it's we'll, a nice turn. We'll take it from there. <laughs> well, thanks again All for right. stopping by. Talk to you later. All righty. Bye.